Let's talk ocean currents. In this video, I'm going to show you a lab you can do with students to show the effect of salinity on deep ocean currents. Let's start with salinity. So salinity is a measure of the salt that's dissolved into ocean water. And to show students the effect of salinity on density and how the more salty the ocean water is, the deeper it will sink because it's more dense, you're going to get some beakers of water or they can just use clear cups if they're at home. Um, a straw, I have a big, thick, more sturdy, reusable kind, but um, any straw will work. You want it to be clear, ideally. Um, and then food coloring and salt. So start off with just fresh water in all of your cups. I have five. And then add some food coloring to each of the cups so they're all different. And one tip here, the darker the color, the better. So don't be afraid that you're using too much food coloring. The next thing you're going to do is add your salt. So we're going to have different amounts of salt in each of the beakers. I'm going to leave the first beaker plain with no salt and then using a teaspoon or whatever measuring device that you have, um, we're going to go up from there. So I'm going to start with one and then two, three, and four. All right, so we're gonna start with the fresh water, which is the least dense because there's no salt in it. And we're going to put the straw in and however deep you want it to suction up. So I would recommend just like a centimeter, um, maybe centimeter and a half at a time. And you're gonna suction with the top of your thumb and then lift up real quick. Okay, so I want to go just a little bit red and I'm gonna start there. Then hop over to my blue, go another centimeter and a half down Lift up real quick, suction again, so now students can see, hey, I have two layers. Hop over to the yellow, go a little deeper. Hop over to the green, go a little deeper. And then the red, or the orange last. Okay, it's hard to see the orange on that last one, but if you hold it up with a white background, you can see that the different layers are based on salinity. So you could finish with posing the question to students, hey, what if we started at the most dense and worked our way the opposite direction? What's gonna happen? Um, so they could have a conversation and then try it. So empty your straw and then start with the most dense, suck some up, go a little deeper, suck some up, go a little deeper, suck some up, okay? As you hold it up each time, students can see, hey, I don't see any layers this time. What's going on, okay? So we don't see those clear layers we saw before because the most dense is wanting to sink. And as that's happening, it's mixing up. So we don't see the distinction. All right, so what does this have to do with ocean currents? So you're gonna finish with a conversation with students. Hey, what do we know about salinity in the ocean? As we have areas of salt water that are more salty and salinity increases, that salt water is going to slowly sink and the um, less dense, less salinity ocean water is going to rise. So we know that the deeper you are in the ocean, the more salty it is. And so that's one cause of deep ocean currents. Be sure to check out my other video on ocean currents and if you want more ideas, hit subscribe.